Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial for improving your aerial game. Now, this video is for people who already know how to do all the basics, know how to aerial, and are kind of stuck. They need to do a little bit more. They need to be more dynamic. They're already, they're just in this linear rotational aerial hit the ball phase. Now, I am in the same phase you guys are but I know how to improve. So this video will be helping you guys and myself improve our aeroling. With a few hours in training mode, we can become extremely comfortable at flying upside down, twisting, jumping off walls, and I'll show you how to do that. So let's start. So we're gonna go in the rookie mode, and at first let's just you know, hit the ball, get a little warm up in, smack the ball how you want it, just keep resetting it until you're comfortable. And once you're comfortable, then we'll go to the next stage. Alright, so on this setup, we have the ball outside of the goal, sort of. This is the setup that we want to keep it on for just a tiny bit to understand how rotating your car will make the ball come off differently. So here I'll show you one. I'm going to be rotating my car left, which will tilt the front and the top side of my car towards the goal, which means when I hit the ball, the ball will actually go towards the goal instead of away from it. So that's the whole point of tilting your car. So here we go. And we're going to tilt the car just a little bit. So the farther right I'm going to be on the ball, the more tilted angle will get to score that goal. So the whole point of this exercise is to fake out the goalie. Now the goalie is going to think you're going to go far post, but you're going to go near post when you turn your car, or you're going to go a little bit more near post. It's not going to be perfect, and you might mess up the first few times. But it also will help you get a more solid hit. So you saw me spin there, and I hit it really firmly. But if I just do this, it's going to be hard to get a better angle. We're just working on spinning our car and seeing how it works. So we're going to go there. Look at that. Right in the goal. And it's away from where we're actually aiming. So now we're going to tilt the car and try to get that angle right in. There we go. That's what we want. You see how we shot it away from where the goalie is probably going to be defending. So give those a try and then... I'll show you the next segment. So now we're going to hop into Aerial Pro. Now in this segment, we're not trying to become pros. We are trying to work on our upside down aerials. Now our upside down aerials are much harder than our front side. So at first, let's just get our front side aerials down. You can let go of boost if you have to, to get a better angle because you're going to be doing that on your upside down ones too. And just stay on the first setting. You don't need to go too high, you don't need to have the ball moving. Just stay on this first setting, get that feel of that lineup. Right there, that's what we want. So now we're going to go upside down. When you go upside down, your control is get inverted, and when you go up, you go down, and it gets very confusing. So here, I'm going to show you one without talking so I can concentrate. There we go beautiful see how I kind of took my time and I got the angle of the car towards the goal that's what we want and nail it right there upper 90 that's what we're looking for now if you can't do the higher one do this lower one the lower one is a lot easier and you don't have to be completely upside down just like that one and I recommend once we get these aerials down like that, now we're ready to mix it up. So my terminology is this. You got the standard aerials, like this. Just standard. Nothing too difficult. Then you have your goofy aerials, like this. This is goofy. Upside down, control is backwards, all messed up. So, goofy is upside down, regular is forwards. So what have we covered so far? We've covered tilting our car to get better angles. We've covered flying upside down to 
understand the backwards controls and now we got to take our regular flying and our backwards flying and mix them up so we don't get disoriented so when you start flying upside down a lot you start getting disoriented and when you're doing regular flying it becomes harder and it feels upside down so now we're gonna mix it up we're gonna do regular and goofy aerials and just uh, get your brain feeling the the difference between each and we're just trying to make sure we normalize ourselves because after doing a lot of goofy training our brains are going to be messed up for the regular training so now we're going to rotate in between doing regular and goofy aerials this is our regular aerial, aerials and just try to find a setup like this one's straight on we'll just do this it's easy and we'll just do the regulars and now we're gonna do the goofy here's something I also want to say when you're going for the aerial always rotate towards where the goal is and the ball because it's gonna turn you towards that way so get just a little bit left then rotate so we're gonna want to go right on the left and then we're gonna ro rotate right and that will give us the proper approach to these backwards aerials so guys once we've done these four approaches the turning of the car to get better angles the goofy aerialing upside down and then the mix aerialing the fourth approach is to get the ball moving so on these we're gonna get the ball moving and we're just gonna do the mix the regular and the goofy because you're gonna be all disoriented and I would say rotate in between doing goofy doing regular and then switching back to a normal ball setup because this one gets really disoriented when the ball is going from left to right the whole goal of this is to just hit the ball while you're upside down we're not aim aiming for the goal just yet we're just trying to hit the ball we're trying to make contact once we make contact with the ball every single time upside down and trying to get it as close on target as we can then we start aiming for the goal we start rotating towards the goal see that rotation that's gonna hit it towards the goal so after you get comfortable hitting the ball upside down rotating towards the goal getting that flight right and uh, following the ball if you can and make sure you always go back to regular when you're doing these because your brain gets all messed up so guys I've been working about an hour on it you guys can too um, I mean look that's not perfect but <laughs> an hour's work to start flying and spinning your car that's gonna make us so much better so thank you all for watching I hope that our gameplay improves after this video and just try to put in a tiny bit of training a day or put in an hour or two instead of playing and kind of just work on your skills and I hope that this will help you start flying upside down flying goofy whatever you want to call it let me know guys if you want to see more videos like this if you want to see other ways you can improve your game like a rotational video I can totally do that or just let me know what you want to learn thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time